How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe and today's video is actually based on a question that one of you asked me. It was by a I Dank Kai wanted to know what's the difference between a VPN and a proxy. And I thought it was a really good question because on the surface of them, they seem to be very similar. They seem to do the same thing, which is hide your IP address from websites and services and change your IP address. But that's really where the similarities end. They are very different in terms of how they work, the protocols they support, and in terms of security and privacy and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna go over those differences and it is really important to know this. For those of you who want a very basic explanation of VPNs and proxies, they basically both act like a middleman. So you establish a connection with the proxy or VPN server and then that kind of forwards your request to the website. So to the website, it looks like you're connecting from the server and they don't see anything about your real connection or location. So that's really the benefit of it. But like I said, the way that this connection is established is gonna be very different between proxies and VPNs. So the first major difference is that with a VPN, it's configured at the system level so that all traffic goes through the VPN encrypted connection. So it can be used with any traffic or any type of app. So you can use a VPN while you're playing a game or streaming music or doing file sharing, anything like that. And although most VPN softwares do allow you to exclude certain apps, for the most part, you're gonna be using a VPN for all of your traffic at once. With a proxy server, on the other hand, that's usually configured at the individual app level. So you would have to go into an individual settings for some software and put in the proxy connection settings, and then it would only connect through that software, whereas everything else will be unaffected. Now, the next major difference has to do with security, and spoiler, VPNs in general are gonna be more secure than a proxy, so let me explain why. With VPNs, they all pretty much work the same way. They're gonna all encrypt the data, put it in the tunnel, and send it to the VPN server. And yes, there are gonna be different algorithms that you can use to encrypt it and different key strengths, but they are going to all encrypt the data. Now, if you really wanted to, you could set up your own VPN server and specially configure it to not use encryption, but you'd really have to go out of your way to do that. And really, anytime you would buy a VPN service and use their software, it's most likely not gonna even have an option to disable encryption. So you're gonna get encryption with a VPN, that's the whole point of it. When it comes to proxies though, they aren't all the same. There's different protocols that a proxy could use depending on the type of application you're using a width, and these different protocols offer different levels of security. The first of these is gonna be an HTTP proxy. This is basically just gonna be used for web content. Obviously, HTTP is the web protocol, and you're really not gonna be able to use this with any other type of data, and this might be either configured within the browser itself, so the web browser, or you might visit some website where basically you type in the website you wanna to go to and then it kind of displays that as an interface. So you're not configuring the proxy, it's just all done on that site. And the thing to know about HTTP proxies is they're very simple. They offer no extra encryption at all when connecting to the site, even if you're using it with your own browser configured or again, using one of those proxy websites. And this means that anything you do on the web is gonna be just wide open, as if you're just using it with no proxy connection. The only thing it's doing is hiding your IP address from the website. Another very important thing to know is that some HTTP proxies may or may not even allow HTTPS connections to websites. So you may know that if you go to a website and you connect with HTTPS, it says that in the browser URL, it means it's a secure connection. And an HTTP proxy may also support HTTPS, which means it will be encrypted, but it may also just filter out all secure connections, in which case it'll either just deny the connection to the website at all if that website forces secure connections, or if that website supports both, it'll force you into the non-secure version of that website. So the advantage of these is they might be a little bit faster because there is no overhead, but again, there's no encryption and a lot of free proxies that do this type of protocol will actually inject ads because it's not encrypted so they can literally modify your connection and inject ads and that's how they monetize and that's why they're free. So 
always be a little bit suspicious of free proxies. The next type of protocol is an HTTPS proxy, which does actually encrypt everything with the HTTPS protocol. So it's very similar to the last one, except it is encrypted. And if you connect to an HTTPS website, it's kind of like doubly encrypted because again, you're connecting to that website with HTTPS and then the server itself uses encryption as well. The thing to know is that if you connect through to a website with HTTPS, you're always secure with that website because that is a direct connection with you and the website, no matter what tunnel it goes through, they can't see anything. And also the other thing with HTTPS, which, oh my God, it's such a tongue twister to keep saying this, is that it does only support web traffic typically. So you're not gonna be able to use it with anything else which is a little bit different than the third protocol, which I'm gonna talk about, which is SOX, which is a proxy that does support any type of traffic. So with a SOX proxy, and I believe the most recent version is SOX 5, if an application supports it, you can use it. So this could be music streaming or voice chat or games or anything like that. But in terms of security, the SOX protocol does not offer any encryption by itself. You would have to have encryption built into the app that would be connected with whatever service it's using. So I don't know, Skype or something. If Skype connects normally to the Skype servers with a secure connection and you use it with proxy, it probably would still be secure, but it's not secure because you're using a SOX proxy, if that makes sense. So if you're going to configure a proxy with software and it doesn't mention encryption anywhere, you have to assume that it's not gonna be providing its own encryption and is not going to be secure. Now, many SOX proxy servers do have SSH support, so it might allow an app to connect with a secure connection, but that's only if the app supports it in the first place. Just because, again, just because you're connecting through the SOX proxy doesn't mean it's secure. And also, even if you are connecting with SSH or something like that, a lot of apps will leak DNS so DNS, that's basically your computer sending out a request to figure out what the IP address of a domain is, and it might send that request outside of the proxy. So even if you're connecting with secure connection, then the operating system is still giving away to your ISP what you're using it for. And obviously another important thing to remember is that even though the SOX proxy does support any type of traffic, the application that you wanna use it with has to support it in the first place. And for the most part, most popular softwares really don't. I mean, it's not really a huge request by most people. So you would have to use a VPN if it doesn't support SOX. Now, all that being said, Windows itself does have a settings page for configuring a proxy, which I assume would be used with the whole system. But again, it doesn't mention anything about encryption. So you really have to assume, and I would assume it doesn't offer any security in that way. So basically VPNs do have a lot more advantages than a proxy. The advantage of a proxy is that it's gonna typically have less overhead because there's like no security with it. So it might be faster if you really need fast connection. But again, why would you use a proxy in the first place if you didn't want privacy and then it doesn't really even offer privacy in the first place? And then again, going back to VPNs, a big advantage with them is you can use it with the whole system. It does The application doesn't have to support proxies. It doesn't even know that it's using a VPN. It's just all sent through there like it's your regular connection, except it is encrypted. Really the only situation I would consider where you would want to use a proxy is like if you're at school and you obviously can't change the software settings on those computers, then maybe you could go to like one of those web-based proxies and you don't care about privacy because you don't care about being snooped on, then you can use something like that. But again, because it is gonna be really not encrypted most likely, I wouldn't ever type any personal info through a free proxy or especially not log in because again, if it's not encrypted or it's weak encryption or something like that, it's not gonna be secure. So hopefully that covers everything and answered a lot of questions you may have had or may not even thought to ask. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think down in the comments. Is there anything I didn't mention that you want me to clarify? I'll try to look at those. If you want to keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you want to subscribe, I make a couple new videos every week, so it should be worth it. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.